In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be able to send SMS messages directly through Retail AI. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this is super important, but the main reason why this is super important is because you won't have to pay for apps like AnyDan, Make.com, or Zapier to be able to do this. All you will have to do is create a tool in Retail AI, and then boom, you're going to be able to send SMS messages. The only thing you're going to have to pay extra for is that SMS message at 0.0079 cents per message, which is super cheap. And that's going to be paid through Telenix or Twilio. So yeah, that's the amazing benefit of this new update by Retail AI. You won't have to pay for multiple apps to make one thing work. All you'll have to do is pay for your call minutes and that's it. So yeah, let's just get into it and I'll show you exactly how to do this super quickly. But before we get into everything, let me introduce myself. My name is Emmanuel Termir. I'm the founder of Sampana LLC. We help companies implement AI agents into their company, like AI email agents, AI SMS agents, and AI voice agents, and a plethora of other AI agents, but mainly these three agents into their companies so that they are able to get a hold of leads 10 times quicker. The other thing that we help these companies do very, very well is help these companies with spam protection. Once you start placing thousands of outbound calls a day, your numbers will show up in spam and your pickup rates will go down dramatically. This will affect the amount of appointments you're able to book in a day and the amount of leads you're able to talk to in a day. So what we do is we help all of our clients with spam protection, ensuring that their numbers never show up in spam. And by doing this, we help these companies keep their pickup rates at an absolute maximum to be able to convert as many of these leads as possible. So let's get into this video and I'll show you exactly how to create this SMS connection with Retail AI. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is create an agent. Once you create an agent, what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna add your prompt over here. So we're going to add our testing prompt over here. So once you add your script over here, what you're gonna do is choose your LLM. We're gonna stick with GPT 4.1, although it hallucinates a bit. And then we're going to choose my favorite voice from 11 labs, which is going to be Kate. And then we're going to choose our accent, which is going to be English. You're also able to add a UK accent, an Australian accent and a New Zealand accent, or you're able to have it speak in different languages and create it to be multilingual. From here, what you're going to do is come to speech settings and add some of this stuff, enable back handling. After you're done over here, come over to speech settings. And transcription is going to be optimized for accuracy. Background denoising is going to remove background plus background speech. So basically what this does is it removes a noisy background from your lead. So a lot of leads are a lot of the time driving. They have kids in the background. They're doing something and it's super hard for the AI to understand what they're saying. So this just removes that whole entire noisy background, makes it clear for the AI to understand. And then you're also able to add pronunciation over here, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to add a background sound. And then you're also able to come over here to call settings. We're going to put voicemail detection to hang up if voicemail reached. And then use keypad input detection off. And then that's it. Functions over here, we're going to come and click add. It's super easy to add this tool. So you're going to put send over here. And then we're just going to add a description. This is going to send a SMS message. And the prompt that we're going to add is whenever the user is ready to purchase, send them. Here is the link to be able to bring up your credit. And then billsby.com and then boom. And that's going to be our whole prompt over here. You're able to make the prompt longer but then we're just going to click save. And you're also able to add multiple send SMS messages so uh, that it could have the opportunity of what SMS message to send, not just to only send one. The way you're going to integrate this into your prompt is by copying this. And then we're going to add this SMS message over here to our script. So this is the part where the tool is going to be triggered. So if user expresses intent to buy, use the tool SMS to be able to send the SMS message. That's basically how you're able to send SMS messages directly through Retail AI. The cool thing is you're able to send many variations of these SMS messages by labeling them send SMS1, send SMS2, all of that. So that's the cool part. 
to send these SMS messages. This is super easy to set up and add this to your script to enable all of this. So now what we're going to do because we're done with this is we're going to make sure that our number is added to our agent. And it looks like it is over here. And that's basically it. That's how you're able to send a SMS message directly through Retail AI. Super simple. Just make sure that you have all of this set up over here just like that. And then boom, you'll be able to send a SMS message. This is probably the easiest thing you're able to do with Retail AI. Just make sure that you have your number A to be verified and you'll be able to send SMS messages. That's basically it. If you need any other help or have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you want to implement AI into your business or you want to stop your calls from showing up into spam, feel free to book a call at Simpano.com and I'll be able to help you with that. And if you want to be caught up on the most recent AI news, feel free to join my Telegram or my newsletter.